shy. Misunderstood. What do you do? I'm a vampire. <laughs> Have you ever seen one of these before? 18th century, right? And he hasn't scored in 400 years. Man, that dude show got the blues. He just met the perfect girl. And lost her for the 14th lifetime in a row. Just forget the fact that we are the oldest living virgins walking the planet. But all that is about to change. You always die on Halloween night of your 22nd year. <laughs> because if the devil sold his soul, he still couldn't rock and roll. I don't think I'm a vampire. I really am a vampire. <laughs> like Rockula. Tonight's the night to keep a date with fate. I think maybe you just need some therapy, Ralph. And it's their one last chance. I love you. You love me. If you don't listen to me, you're going to die. For romance. I thought he was kind of cute. I'm back! Yo, yo, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Rockula. The love story that rocks like a bat out of hell. Rockula. Hey guys, yeah, we are talking about Rockula, which happens to be my favorite, uh, one of my favorite movies as a kid. I mean, I've got lots of favorite movies as a kid. Uh, this one happens to be one of my favorite. Um, it's it's such a sweet, you know, romantic comedy. It's a musical, you know, it's a musical. It's a sweet musical, you know, number. It's it's just oh, it's so so delightful. I love it. I love it. I saw it recently, I, I, I got my hands on it and I saw a clip of it on uh, I think Instagram so I, got a, I went out and looked for it and got my hands on it and I was just like, like I was transported back into my childhood, you know, oh, it was so good seeing it again, I really, I really enjoyed it. Oh, it start, it's, it's about this, well you've seen the trailer, so it's about this uh, vampire who is uh, uh, cursed and is destined to keep, you know, he's cursed to keep losing the his one true love, you know, over and over again, and she keeps getting reborn, and you know, then she gets killed, and she's born, you know, again and again and again. So now these four hundred years, he's been doing this. So you know, he's trying to break the curse this time around. So this time around, in this um, version of her, she's a musician, she's a pop singer, and um, he bumps into her one down the street, and then he, you know, because. It's always on her, I think, 22nd birthday that she gets killed or her 21st, I don't know, I forgot which of the two it is. So he, you know, so he knows it's coming. So he now tries his best to, like, stay away, stay home or try not to run into her so that he doesn't have to, like, go through that all over again, you know. So he, he tries, but eventually, you know, the universe takes its course and he runs into her and, you know, she instantly takes a back into him. He's trying to keep his distance, but of course he, of course, falls for her. And uh, he goes to see her show, and she's a you know pop singer, and wow, you know the the film has a lot of beautiful musical numbers, and she performs this really cool, really sweet song. Uh, check it out, it's so it's so lovely. I love it. Check it out. So yeah, she performs this really sweet song and he's there, he's seen her and he's like, he's like instantly head over heels in love. But he, he tries to get, you know, with her and there's this guy Stanley, he's her, I think he's a producer and they used to date, but they're not dating anymore. But like, you know, he still has feelings for her and he's still, you know, so he's, so he kind of like, you know, tries to get in the way of him trying to get close to her. So he now figures that, okay, the only way he can get into her inner circle is also become a musician. So he now starts a rock band called Rockular. And he invites her to his show where he performs for, you know, for the first time. And 
she shows up and there you know he performs you know this nice song to Rico um you yeah, check it out you know I really love this one too it's another beautiful number check this out <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, you can see, whoa, so that was another sweet number he performed there. So, you know, he gets into her inner circle and they start hanging out and they even do a, a duet together. And, you know, so things are kind of going well. His mom, um, she puts pressure on him to bring her home because she wants to meet this version of uh, Mona that he should bring her home. And so he's reluctant, he's reluctant, eventually he does. So they have this really awkward dinner, he invites over for dinner at his mom's place because you know he still lives with his mom so they have this really awkward dinner and uh tony the seal gives this beautiful performance uh, that's it's my favorite song in the movie you know she really gives this mind-blowing performance of course she's a i think she's a pop singer in real life of course so she you know she really shines in this moment and but it's an attempt by her to to scare mona off to like really you know so she kind of keeps dropping hints that he's a vampire and you know, Ramona doesn't catch on. She just thinks his mom is being weird. So she now performs this song, which I love. So yeah, I want you guys to, you know, watch just a little bit of it. So check this out. Introducing the fabulous, the incomparable, and the sexy Miss Phoebe!
again And all I wanna do is jam with my friends And jamming is what I'll do And I'll jam the house, I'll jam it down on you Yeah, so that's the song. So she performs this really lovely song, and Mona gets freaked out at the end of it. You know? So, so he now tries in the movie. So he now tries to tell her the truth and that you know that he's a vampire and all that. But of course, she doesn't believe him. She he then shows her pictures of her other life that she's lived, photographs from her past lives, and she can't. You know, she doesn't want to believe it. So she, you know, like runs off and. You know, stays away from him and he's like looking for her and she's you know she's hiding from him so you know eventually he is able to save her from getting killed this time around and so this time he's able to break the curse so yeah so the film is really good it has a, a lovely happy ending and there's something really cool that happens at the end i don't want to give that away if you have not seen the movie but if you have you know what i'm talking about so if you've not seen this film go check it out it's really good it's really fun it came out in uh, 1990 very 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 lovely movie you'll love it so that's it for this video uh if you've enjoyed the video please like my video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and um see you guys on the next one thank you